Hello again, welcome to Let's Just Watch Reactions. I'm Tan Tan, and today this is part three of listening to Certified Lover Boy by Drake. Uh, so, I, as I said, I'm going to be reacting to You Only Live Twice by Drake, Lil Wayne, and Rick Ross as the 19th track on the album. So, so far, I've listened to 18 tracks, two of which I've already reacted to that being Champagne Poetry, the opener, and Fair Trade, track number six with Travis Scott. So when I reacted to Fair Trade with Travis Scott, I, re I pretty much gave like a rundown of what I thought about the tracks from track one to five. Um, so I guess before we listen to track 19, I'm going to give my rundown of the tracks from track six to track 18. Um, so yeah, what my thoughts on the album so far, nothing we haven't heard before. Uh, it, what I've always said to, when I, about Drake is that he's been making the same album since Take Care. Since his first commercial album, Drake has been making the exact same album. He's talking about nothing we haven't heard him talk about before. Uh, he had, but 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 listen, he has the secret formula. No matter how many times he talks about it, it's gonna sound good. No matter how many times he talks about it, it's gonna be relatable. He's 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 gonna. People are just simply gonna gravitate to it. People just don't get tired of Drake, and quite a lot of these songs already have a formula that i've already heard prior so like i said from fair trade i listened to way too sexy i'll be honest that's the worst song of the album way too sexy uh the, the sample the sample that wow um, too sexy for mm -mm, nah sorry from the moment i heard that beginning from the beat from a uh, young thug is well, young thug can really smash out a a, a a um a feature like he was on that feature on one of drake's previous albums and and he knocked it out of the park this one young thug was lackluster future was lackluster it wasn't all that I'll, I'll be honest um tsu was okay i thought tsu was actually a, a pretty decent track uh actually I was, I, tsu was actually a pretty good track into deep again just okay pipe down not really memorable quite forgettable if i'm honest drake and smiley on over the top i thought was that's a hard beat that was a, that's probably the hardest beat on the track i thought the beat was really good bars i think they could have gone harder i think if um if, i know the kind of track is made to be it's just meant to be catch the air have a quick adrenaline boost it's only two 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 and a half minutes so hear it feel height i don't know on, on, on the way to a club or whatever enjoy yourself um, not much there to it, but yeah, that's that's a bit of that's a bop right there. It bumps in the whip. Um, yeah, but it's heartbreak. Different from everything else. Um, more introspective, really low key, chilled, reflective. Um, decent track. I just because it, it's different. Just because it's different. I don't think it's, it, it, I don't think it's 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 the best introspective track there is, but it's definitely. It's different from what I've heard so far on this album, and just for that, I'll give it, you know, uh, you know, I, I'll just say it's, it's it's a pretty good track. It's a pretty good track. No friends in the industry. I knew, I knew the moment I heard this that this was gonna go hard, and it did go hard. Um, no friends in the industry. I liked. Um, again, just talking about success and how people backstab you and things along those lines. Um, a few a few shots at a few people. You know, just general his general haters and things like that. Uh, again, nothing new, but um, I, I thought that song went hard. Pretty good song. D knife Talk. <laughs> Disappointing. Simply because I see the potential there. And the way it started, the, their flow. Hold on, let's listen to this. Let's and see, the way it started, that flow that flow and the way that that song started was up there that that song was it had so much potential but as the song went on it, i don't know who that was right who started the track project pat so he came hard he came with energy he came with invention i feel 21 savage and drake let him down on that track they came with lazy delivery listen to this it's a zombie walk it's dull it's 
and they let him down. And that song had potential. Because I know, I, I know, I understand that's 21 Savage's delivery. Uh, uh, uh. But the potential on that, even Drake didn't do himself the best on that track, I'll be honest. I, I, that's the most one of the most disappointing tracks on the album, I'll be honest. I, I, I didn't think that song covered itself in glory. However, 70 on, on, on Bridal Path, which is pretty much a diss song, and we know who to diss song to Kanye. Um, pretty much the bars on it. If he made this, because I know he, he addressed the address. He said, uh, give the address to your taxi driver and come visit me or something essentially alluding to that and come to it. Um, if he made this in the last week, because I think that's when Kanye did it. That is that that was one hell of a track. Seven on it's like the best diss non drip diss track because he didn't mention him, he didn't mention it, you know. But we know what it's alluding to, we know what it's addressing. Um and I actually think the bars on that one were hard. The bars of Drake, that's the that's the best rapping. Next to Champagne Poetry, it's up there with Champagne Poetry on this album. It's some of the best rapping Drake's done on this on this on this album. The bars were hard, the flows were hard, the rapping was hard. The rhyming was hard. Just a overall really good. And that's the Drake that a lot of, you know, rap diehards will want. Just come at us with bars. Just because we know Drake can ride a beat so well. And Seven on Bridal Path was just immaculate. Like top tier rapping. That's that's the that's that rapping that makes you think, damn, is this better than your biggies? Is this better? It makes you legitimately contemplate. Like, would Biggie or Tupac, Jay-Z, Eminem, with all these rappers that we that we hold to these are the greatest of all time will they actually rap better on this than drake did and i don't think they will not on this beat not on this beat drake there's no artist that can rap better on that beat than drake did and then then the bars his um his metaphors and things that he alluded to were just that's a oh, fantastic retort there again as a kanye fan i'm telling drake i'm telling kanye stay away end the beef uh it's the only way what either one can i know when it comes to rap rapping on rapping drake's gonna win but when he because you know it's gonna get it's gonna get a bit personal it's gonna get it's gonna get personal and he even said himself oh um people come at me but then want to keep it on rap i would just keep it to rap essentially we alluding to that listen when it comes to it when it gets to physical when we have to meet up you know people aren't gonna do it like they said these two live not like a block away why are you why are you keeping it on rap like come see me come i don't know talk this out or fire it out or whatever the, the, the you know the conclusion is going to be really good bars on that really good bars and to be honest i'll say on, in this beef uh, let's just be honest drake himself surrendered when he said you know what fine i'm not even going to respond to push up but you know if, if he is staying on rap and if it does if it's not throwing up dirty laundry I think Drake Drake has just as much of a chance to win that thing, you know. Um, Race on my mind, forgettable. Don't remember what that was. I'll be honest. Fountains. <sighs> Again, cookie cutter Drake. Cookie cutter Drake. It reminded me of One Dance. Fountains sounded just like One Dance. Uh, think if I, if you know what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. is it makes me reflect and think that like maybe this album is just drake sort of encapsulating all his previous albums i've heard a little bit of everything i've heard a little bit of take care drake nothing was the same drake views drake scorpion drake i've heard just a little i've heard just a little bit of everything from this album and maybe he's just trying to infuse everything that he's done before i don't know but Again, nothing we haven't heard before. This is what I mean. Push yourself artistically, Drake. Just push yourself. Do a little bit better. You know, go outside the box a little bit. Just like on that 21 Savage song, um, Knife Talk. Again, stick with that flow. Like, enter a character. Don't just be you. Enter a character sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Go, go a little bit above and beyond. And that's just what that's just that's just what I feel holds Drake back, really, really. You know, could have done a lot better on that. Um get along better um get along better typical you know that's that's that thing that 
makes Drake relatable, talking about getting on better with one of his girl's friends. And, you know, I guess he's going to be pursuing that thing. Again, typical certified lover boy vibes, proper toxic masculinity, future vibes, future Hendrix vibes. Hey, 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 Girl, I love you. But your friend over there, though, your friend over there, though. I, okay, let me not get into that. But anyway, typical Drake again. Nothing we haven't heard before. He's talked about this. He's talked about this. So I don't know. Uh, like I said, he's been making the same album for the last ten or so years. Nothing we haven't heard before. Decent song though. Get along better. I do like them. I do. I do like his execution of it. Nothing more than that. Um. So now we're gonna be listening to "You Only Live Twice." I'm on to track nineteen. I'm going to listen to this one. I'm going to give you my reaction to this one. And then maybe record a little something, something at the end with how I felt about the album overall. Or maybe I might make that a separate video. I don't know. Okay, 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 okay. I knew the song was gonna be a bang. What I should have said is Drake and Lil Wayne never miss. When they're on the track together, they never miss. Rick Ross, when he's featuring, never misses, ever. Rick Ross is the most underrated artist of the last 15 years, and personally, I think he's the best feature artist of the last 15 years. When he's on someone else's tracks, he goes hard. This already goes hard. This already goes hard. This is already, already. I knew this. I feel this is gonna be my favorite song on the album. I already know the rapping one. This is gonna be and Lil Wayne, the wordplay master, the best word smith, the best wordplay in rap history. Ah. Mm. Oh, That's why I'm moving on and loose with these boys. Are right. <clears throat> so what I'm getting from this track, again, um, in terms of subject matter. Braggadocious, talk about your success, talk about where you came from and where you are now, and uh and, and, and things like that. Good track, be amazing, take care of us. This is what I mean. This there's little each track is like a little piece of previous Drake. This is very much take care. And like that that Rick Ross song that he was on on Take Care, this sort of reminds me of that. Fantastic, angelic, choir like sample. This is more chipmunk, but sort of like sort of like uh it's like builds up and then sort of climaxes sort of sample fantastic sample great rap it just rap like pure rapping pure rapping no sings pure rap. just come with bars rick ross came hard drake's coming hard i got this for me nigga i got bitches doing lines i'm a this for him, nigga i got some little wayne's wordplay man my god oh, i'm not even going to repeat what i said i don't want to get demonetized i don't want people my loved ones who see me as nice chill clean angelic to even hear me saying things like that but <laughs> Personally, for me, best song on the album. Personally, best song on the album. Pure rapping, pure bars, just pure, pure metaphors, pure. Uh, uh, do, 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 do. That's that's what we're talking about. When we we know Drake can go bar for bar with the best of them. We know Drake can go bar for bar with the best of them, and a lot of us pure rap fans here just want Drake to do that. That's what we want. We want at least one album where you just go bar for bar with everyone. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This, this, this was this was hard. You only live twice. I knew the moment I saw those features. I know Rick Ross kills every every feature he's on. Kills it every feature. He kills it. I know Rick Ross was gonna kill it. Lil Wayne again. He always like even if it's not his best verse, it's always. Almost nine times out of ten, Lil Wayne's still gonna out rap everyone on the verse just because his wordplay is just that good. 
I mean, Drake obviously came with what he came with, but man, a great song. Uh, favor on the track, yeah, favor on the track. I'm glad I reacted to this one specifically. But yeah, so far on the album, like I said, You Only Live Twice, I like it. Uh, 7 a.m. on Bridal Path, I like it. Uh, no Friends of the Industry, good. Um, Over the Top, good. Uh, TSU, good. Um, and Champagne Poetry, good. Um... Yeah, I'll, I'll say again, it's a typical 25%. Like I said in my first reaction of this album, 25% Drake, 25% album, 25% of the songs I'm gonna come back to. Everything else, I'm not. I don't. I don't. I'm not gonna listen. To a lot of this is forgettable. I'll be honest. But the songs that hit are gonna hit. You know, the songs that hit hit, and this song hit. So nothing I didn't expect from Drake. Nothing he hasn't made before. Same thing with Scorpion, 25%. Same thing with Views, 25%. Same thing he's been doing prior, 25%. It's a 25% album to me. Uh, so yeah, that's just my verdict on Certified Lover Boy by Champagne Puppy. I also know a lot of social media references, so it makes a lot of references to memes. So I'm swaying a bit. I really need to go to the toilet, but I'm in the middle of filming, so I'll wait. Um, uh, he makes a lot of references to like internet memes, Insta Instagram memes, and it makes sense why with the album cover now because he makes a lot of references to that. I think on a second re listen, third, fourth, fifth, whatever, if I have that in mind and really try and spot these things, spot these parallels, parallels, spot these things that he's trying to put in there, um, you know, this the album just might start to piece together a little bit more. I might be able to start spotting the themes, but so far, um, okay, album. Not good, not great, not amazing. It's not rubbish, it's not poor, it's not bad. Just an okay, right down the middle. Nothing amazing, nothing new, nothing we haven't heard from Drake. That's been my reaction. That's been my thoughts on Certified Love Boy by Drizzy Drake. Let me know if you want me to react to more music. Let me know if you want me and Victoria to react to more music or anything else. Put your suggestions down below about anything else you want us to react to. Um, uh, along with the usual stuff that we react to as well. See you next time.